Hey everyone, it's Melody. I'm here to do another coloring video. Um, this time I've decided to do this castle stamp. It is from the Alleyway Stamps. Um, it was the free stamp that they were giving out for their anniversary. Um, it's this one, it's called Once Upon a Time, and I absolutely love it. So I thought I would do um, a coloring video on this, kind of like an image. I like um, just solid pictures to color to. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. I've picked a lot of blue tones uh, to work with as opposed to like a lot of grays. So um, I've got Broken China, um, Stormy Sky, Ice Spruce, Tumbled Glass, um, Milled Lavender, Pumice Stone, and I'm also I also have weathered wood and whether I use all of these or not I don't know but I have them already um, and then I think for the flags I'm just gonna go with a nice little red and so I picked barn door so um, let's start with the ice spruce it's a nice dark color So I haven't really decided how I want to color this image. Um, if I'm going to do different parts of it, different colors, how I'm going to really go for this. But we will see what happens as I color it with on video. I really, really, um, when I did my haul video and I got this car, uh, this stamp, um, I really love this stamp because it reminds me so much of the um, uh, Cinderella's Castle in Disneyland. So I love it for that aspect alone. Um, it's got great details to it. A lot of the castle stamps you see are kind of more... Uh, a little generic, a little plain, um, but this one has such great de de detailing that I just absolutely love it. So, um, let's go back in with the, actually let's go with this one. I've kind of right now got some different colored stone going on, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to make it more cohesive in the end, um, but so far I kind of like it. Now obviously I've chosen to do mine this color, but like this would look really cool if you did purple tones I think, um, or even if you decided to go with like pink or something, or um, I mean you can always just go with the gray, not a big deal. <laughs> Maybe rainbowed. I think a rainbow one would look pretty cool actually if that's the route we decided to go. I told myself I wasn't allowed to um, purchase more stamps until I actually used the ones I had. <laughs> I think we're kind of all guilty of that at times. I think really the only thing I buy anymore though it, um, are stamps. I don't really, I don't buy Project Life things anymore. I don't really even buy a lot of stickers anymore because I tend to just use stamps and um, other sort of embellishments with cards that I make, and that's primarily all I do now. Um, so I buy a lot of stamps and I buy um, things to color the stamps in with. <laughs> I 
to wet up my brush a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear the ringing in the background, but it's um, Schubert's The Trout. My laundry's done. I need to go, t I need to go take out my laundry. <laughs> my thing uh, plays Schubert when it's all done. It's funny. I did not know that was going to happen when I purchased <laughs> my washer and dryer. They're from Samsung, though. I do like them. I'm going to go ahead and color in the flags now. I just love those little flags too. They're so cute and I love that they're not all pointing in the same direction. I hate, um, or not hate, excuse me. I, um, I don't like it when things are super uniform <laughs> or very, very matchy matchy. I like cohesiveness, but I like it to be um, not completely obvious, I guess. So now I'm just going to color in some of those, um, blocks and some of the little details. I think I'm actually going to go in with the windows with my black soot. I'm just going to go ahead and color it in completely. I like the bold. Oh no! It went a little bit above or out of the line there so I'm just going to draw on my own line now. There we go. I'm cool with that. Let's see. I'm going to go in again and maybe, oops, that's not the color I wanted. I'm going to go in again and color in some of these stones. Make them a little darker than the rest of the... Cool. <clears throat> I really like the way this is turning out. Even with kind of like the different tones that are all in here it actually looks a little bit more nicely uniform than I thought it would so it's funny how images kind of come out when um, it's all just colored in it actually just ends up looking really cool okay what I do want to do though is um, on that bottom part it's probably gonna be really really wet but I'm going to go ahead and kind of color in some random ones like this. Like that. Kind of give it some detailing there. I think I'm going to call it. I think that's it. So some distress uh, marker coloring on our really cute castle image here. And that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.